Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you idea that how I can check that what what in my engines cylinders are okay and what are bad and now my purpose is to check that what in this my engines cylinders are work working and what are not not working and i think now that in this my car engine there is four cylinder that this engine runs only in two cylinders and two of those are bad and this is like striked four cylinder engine and next i will show that how we can test that what of these cylinders are working and what are not and this test starts so that i need to start this my engine that i remember that in what way this engine is running because after that first start i disconnect one by one these electric fuel injectors cables Firstly, this cylinder one, then cylinder two, cylinder three, and then cylinder four. These cables, and then we can test, test, and also mark that what cylinder is working and what is not. And these modern engines, there are these electric cables, and these fuel injectors works in gasoline and diesel engine engines in today's so that there's electric cable what opens and close this fuel injector and next i will disconnect one by one one cable away and then i can mark that what cylinder is working and what is not and let's firstly start this my engine okay, and now i am starting this my engine and there is really situation that if revs goes like little bit up in here, then this cylinder is okay. But if this engine would not start, then this cylinder is bad. And let's test. Now I start. And there is really engine is running. And that means that now cylinder is okay. Okay, and now I start this my engine and this engine really runs with two or three cylinders and it vibrates but now we check that what of these four cylinders one of one of what are in these four cylinders are working and what is not and next I start this my engine and this is like this basic level what we can see that how this engine run with all cylinders. basic level and then I disconnect these cables and now I take cables away in this first fuel injector and if we notice that after that engine is not running then we can understand that this cylinder number one and this fuel injector is working and let's go to look at how I disconnect this cable Okay, and there is really this electric cable what controls this fuel injector number one and number one is always the nearest of this timing chain and timing belt area and there is also drive belt and this is like first cylinder and there is this electric cable and I open this locking pin and I remove this electric cable. 
And now there is a situation that this fuel injector is not uh, it is not working because this electric cable is off. And next we test that how this engine runs when cylinder one is off, like away, and how these other three cylinders, cylinder two, cylinder three, and cylinder four are working. And let's test. And this test purpose is to now find that what cylinders are bad. And now we are testing the cylinder one, and I go to start this my engine, and if engine starts and vibrates, then everything is okay, and it means that cylinder one, cylinder one is okay and fine. But, but if it happens that this engine would not start, then we can think right away that cylinder one is workable and okay cylinder and fuel injector. And now I go to start my car's engine. we can see that this cylinder one is important because now this engine it it don't start and it won't start to run and that's we can see that cylinder one is okay and then I can connect this cylinder one electric cable back and I can take this next cable away and let's go to do that next and firstly, I have to connect this my cylinder one's electric cable back in this position. In this starting point in that way. And then locking pin back. Now cylinder one is okay. And then I need to re disconnect this cylinder two second locking pin and cable away and now we test that what happens when we start next this engine cylinder two is now in testing and then I go to start this my car and now we are checking the cylinder two and if car starts then we can think that this cylinder two is bad and if it, it won't start, then we can think that cylinder 2 is bad. Okay, and let's, let's test. This my engine starts and that means now that this cylinder 2 is bad because now we can see that the cylinder 1 is working and the cylinder 2 is bad. Okay, and then I test also this cylinder 3 and I go to disconnect this cable next. Okay, and now we know that the cylinder 1 is okay, but the cylinder 2 is bad because this engine runs uh, same level even that cable is on or off. And this is important to know that if we take cables away, electric cables, fuel inector cable, and this engine is running like in this normal level, then we can think that this fuel injector and piston array, this is bad. And then we go to open the cylinder 3 cable and we can test that what happens if we notice that engine runs more badly then we can think that the cylinder 3 is okay. And let's take this cylinder 3's electric cable away in here. And there is really cylinder 3 
And now I take this locking pin away. Then, then I remove this connector good. And now there is a situation that this cylinder 3 is off because there is no any electric cable and also cylinder 2 is off because this was bad. And now if we notice that engine would not start then we can think that this cylinder is workable and okay. And let's start the engine. Okay, and now I go to start the engine and now we are testing cylinder, cylinder 3 and we can think in firstly that if engine would not start then this cylinder 3 is important and workable but if this engine starts to rotate then we can think that cylinder 3 is bad. Okay, and now I go to start my engine. we can think that cylinder 3 is okay because this engine it would not start and now we can know that cylinder 3 is okay and now I have to co go to connect this cylinder 3 back and then we have final cylinder left this cylinder 4 what I disconnect this cable electric cable in cylinder force this electric fuel injector cable. Okay and now when we are when we are when we are tested this my engine cylinder cylinder one is okay cylinder two is bad but cylinder three is okay and that's I have to connect this electric cable back in there in here okay now cable is back and then I take this cylinder 4 cable away and now we are testing that how what is status of this cylinder 4 okay and now I am really testing this cylinder 4 and now we are now we have status that cylinder 1 is okay cylinder 2 is bad cylinder 3 is okay and now this final cylinder 4 and now this testing results if engine starts then we can think again that cylinder 4 is bad but if this engine it would not start then cylinder 4 is ok. And let's look at how this my engine starts when I go to start this my car's engine. Okay, and then we really test that cylinder 4 and now I have removed these cables and if this engine starts to run then we can think that cylinder 4 is bad. Ok, and then I start this engine. Okay, and engine really starts and that means now that the cylinder 4 is bad. Okay, and now final result in this my engine's cylinder test that what cylinders are okay and what bad. I can say that cylinder 1 is, one is okay, cylinder 2 is bad, cylinder 3 is uh, is okay and cylinder 4 is bad and it means that two cylinders are working and that kind of information to you and the purpose is that when I disconnect one cable and then if something happens 
like engine is not running, then we know that this cylinder is fine, but if nothing uh, changes, everything is fine, then we can think that this cylinder is bad. Okay, that kind of information, my friend, and see you in next movie.